We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. Oh, jeez. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Mm-hmm. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. I have to be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. <laughs> Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, he's that always done that from the very beginning, to be fair. Probably <laughs> made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead, and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Udina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Yeah, I like what they did with uh, Bailey in Mass Effect 3. I always liked his character, and I thought they really developed him well. I also like the fact that we got to like learn a little bit, you know, about his ex-wife and his uh, his kids and stuff. This is a problem, boss. Oh. Cerberus has changed their cipher. And our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just gonna take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. Mm hmm Okay, that's a side mission. That's probably one of the uh, planet scannings that we can do. Keep it here too. Oh. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. Jeez. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula, uh, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. <laughs> sorry, Revere. Okay. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a fame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. It's crazy, like, what Shepard has to do <laughs> to, like, pull everyone together. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now. 
and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all I, of them. I kind of agree with That's the human nice physician sentiment. though. When you're in war, you support. have to kind of, you do I've have to prioritize. That's before. just the the and reality of, of, of war, right? Have Otherwise you, you run out of things. Center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize- Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patience. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Mm -hmm. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. And more credits. So we ask them for donations to get more supplies for those without credits. Mm. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Yeah, that's that's triage, right? The concept of triage. <laughs> that's basically what that is. Oh, oh, oh. Can I help you? Oh, God. I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match. And that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery. But his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. <sighs> see ya. I had hoped we'd see one another again. In less perforated circumstances. <laughs> <coughs> it's all right. Try to catch your breath. An interesting expression. Chasing what one can never actually grasp. But then, we can grasp with more than just our hands. Your memory is not like ours. But perhaps... <coughs> You can hold me in it for a little while. You're not an easy person to forget, Thane. You are kind. <coughs> <coughs> the Council. Did they survive? Yes, Father. Three are alive thanks to you and Shepard. Udina? He instigated it. He is dead. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Kalahira, <coughs> mistress of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, <coughs> you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? 
call the hero. <laughs> this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Last verse say she. The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. <laughs> I remember I think that bit. Meet you across the sea. Just like broke my heart. <laughs> like the first time I watched it. It just broke my heart. <laughs> like the first time. So many things, so many things. Damn, you're not kidding me, El Fiend. Um, there's a lot of side missions. A lot of fetch quests. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that can help us, even today. Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. No, your crime still doesn't have anything. The tech they got off the bodies of a few Cerberus engineers self-destructed when they took it apart. Not much we can do, except pick up the pieces after another turret guns down on Mom and her kids. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Kill. Cool. Okay, so that's that one. That's one done <laughs> of a million. Oh, Matriarch Athete is not here anymore. Interesting. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. Your stonewall is me? Those vids could be vital to the war effort I'm targeting. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. Uh, I bet they do. I'm trying to protect you. Hell of a job. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the bid. Yep. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, sir. I have some high profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading and electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the city. Nobody else. You've got my list. All right. Just. I hope it helps. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. <laughs> oh. Well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Uh, Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, God. Oh, no, he died? These humble words reach you. Then I have joined my ancestors. No, he died. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side. A weed beside your beauty. Twining together in the warm Kachanka sun. Oh. Cha. <laughs> but if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still 
I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Is she pregnant? Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Oh my god, that's so sad. That is so sad. <laughs> I'm really broken up about that. I, I don't think I realized that or didn't I didn't come across it the first time I played. Maybe I don't maybe I didn't, I just forgot, but like I like that that little touch of Bioware where they like you they introduce you to all these little NPC characters in one and two and you actually get to sort of go through that with them. So so clever the way that they did it and linked all those things. Wow, sad. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vast, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Major Kaden Alenko, the second human specter, assisted Commander Shepard. I can't really use that. Could you try again, please? Oh, it's um. Dude. Yep. Are you okay? I've just been standing here holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. <laughs> what was that, Shep? I'm glad you came. Chest pound. <laughs> what was that? Did, does male Shep maybe, like, give him a hug a or something? I don't really know. Because obviously I know, like, he's romanceable if you're male Shep. But even though that, for me, feels a little weird. As he's like grieving the loss of his uh, of his husband. It's important, Commander. He's oh, bad. yeah. This Take is a um... sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50 50. Are you Gorak? Gorak, yeah. <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? Uh huh. You! Do I know you? <laughs> with someone on Eratok remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. Mm -hmm. You butchered a colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to... <sighs> I destroyed Eratot's Relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ah. Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. 
if you are so remorseful, <coughs> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. So many side missions. Oh my god. <laughs> A lot of them will be planet scanning as well, I think. Wait, what? That's James. I recognize that. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Okay. Dude, man. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, <sighs> find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my family is starving. Nice. What is he going on about now? Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. You're just gonna. About time. You're kind of making me nervous, Commander. I'd ask him to deal you in, but I think they're afraid of you. <laughs> You're kind of killing my mojo here, Hefe. I was up a minute ago. You just came by at a bad time. You just gonna stand there and watch? Son of a bitch. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Thank you, Commander. I think uh, Miranda is off doing her own kind of... Because um, Miranda obviously gives you uh, her mission, doesn't she? <laughs> With comrade, yeah. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies should have messed that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Okay, let's see if there is anything inside. I just stop for a second and, and eavesdrop just in case. Hey, Jack's here! roster for the students it's what I do for fun now <laughs> they've got us spread out across Alliance units reinforcing barriers modding ammo that kind of thing how are they holding up they're fine they're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave complain if you like but I think military life suits you hey running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream not mine <laughs> come on plenty of combat free room and board and people you can depend on yeah, yeah. 
Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Come on. What? I'm buying drinks. The duty rosters can wait. Right now you're on shore leave. And we're gonna go we're gonna go boogie. We're gonna go dance. Come on, Shep. Shake some moves. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> Shepherd shuffle. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Where's it? There it is. There it is. Let's properly shake some of it. Boom, boom. See there? She's doing some pretty alright moves, right? <laughs> Oh, Edie's there. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. Wow. It also is capable of limited self healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. Wow. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <laughs> like most have. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Okay, Edie, you do that. Let's have a drink. Jack has got some moves, right, DC? I agree. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not walk off of there, Shepard. All right, let's go to the bar. Uh, where is... Ah, there he is. There's Joker. Look at this. All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. <laughs> How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? What about you and me? No, I don't think so, Joker. I like you, man, but you're you're no. <laughs> what about you and me? Or, or is it like just to like throw him off, just to intimidate him? Maybe should I do that just to intimidate him? What do you guys think? Yeah, you can't romance Joker. He's not a romanceable character. You know, with all this interest in Edie, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh. <sighs> I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. Forget it. So, you and Edie. Well, yeah. What do you think? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? Eh, it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> there we go. Matchmaking done. Awesome. To the ship. 
Oh, look at him dance. <laughs> you go, Joker. Go for it, my man. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Aww. Edie, come on. Get involved. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> okay, let's go back onto the Normandy. Yep. Ah, here is Caden. Okay. Caden. Hey. I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went on one down and it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. <laughs> if I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stop the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. But it matters. You're talking about Udina. Mm -hmm. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same. Including you. <sighs> okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, ma'am. So he's kind of a little bit upset that we shot Udina. Really? Really? Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Udina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyle. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I lost some war asses, Alton. Really? What for? For for shooting Udina? I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly. Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Yeah, I will always pick to have, like, Caden on my team rather than just sending him off as Shepherd, a war asset. Do you have a moment? 
A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Is that Thessia? Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. Oh, this they is didn't Samara. They me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Yeah, that is completely the uh, first time we come across the Banshee. Now, we're going up. We're going up. 3,626. We're going up. I think we do need like 7,000 summit to get the good ending. But we're going up. Um, which is good. Mm -hmm.